I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me pills that will kill me. So, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 and playing hardball. We already did this, but I want to tell Misty about Jackie, actually. I think that that was kind of a miss last time. Um, because she deserves to know something positive about him, I guess. I thought that we might or could have followed up on the conversation, but that wasn't the case. So, let's repeat this little part. Um, Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? How did you stick a gun in my mouth? Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I'm exhausted. Gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Got a terminal case of bad luck. Here. My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? What about Jackie? Missy, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you lots. He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. What a day. Yeah, I think it's good that Misty knew about it. Yeah, that uh, that she that um, Jackie really held her dear. Ah, 
Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Shocking. Such a person in the own bedroom. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? How did you get here? Where did you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of droid toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Don't be impolite. Can't beat him. Well, it's not all right. Eh? What? What the? Who you work for, start talking! Fuck! Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself! No, wait! Ay, ay, ay. No, you won't. I'll find a way. You hear me? Stop this. Oh. Unbelievable. How could he do that? He's really a terrorist. There's the blood on the window. Well, let's take See the meds never, then. Asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Get out of my head. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the get fuck out! Let to the head only thing that will fix this. Hear me, bitch. A bullet, bullet to the to fucking the brain. brain! The meds? Fuck me. A lot of F words. A lot of F words. So, but the medicine works. And here we are. And I have other news because off camera, I wanted to try something and see. And we can see that, you know, we can see that we can't see anything of our own body. And well, we, te we seem to shower in our underwear. And if we switch off nudity, what do you think what happens? Well, actually, only our bra is taken off and that's it. So I, I really, uh, I don't know why they actually do that in the first place. And the whole, the whole sense of uh, this stuff, yeah, doesn't make any sense to me. If there is no real consequence of taking off or on your panties. But well, so here we are. Let's look into the mirror. Dear Miss Anne, Miss V, I would like to inform you 
that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to his family. Yeah, well. So, looking into the mirror. There we are. And nudity is off, of course. So let's change our appearance. Also, I forgot the nail polish. <sighs> well, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. So I like that. Let's have the hair color. I'm actually not entirely sure about this here, but... What did we have before this one, right? Yeah. Let's have this one then. After all the stress and the shock, we need uh, we need something something special. Let's have this one. So indeed, then uh, the eyebrows need to match, of course. Then. Teeth, okay, good. No one knocked one out. Um, the makeup, eye makeup. Oh, let's have that actually. Although it's all, it's all a bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm not smitten. I have to say, yeah, I'm not smitten. I like uh, Misty's makeup though. Like I, what I would actually expect would be some makeup that's really the goth style. So like some punk goth style. Yeah, and then let's have this one here. Makeup color. Oh. Yeah, well, we could also go for the, the completely golden, goldish look. Oh, let's have this one here. That's a nice contrast. The, the lip makeup. I like the this here, yeah. So then, and the color. Do we actually have... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually... I'm not totally convinced. I'm not totally convinced of that stuff, but yeah. Yeah, well, let's have this one here. More or less matching, but well, why, what is this? Or orange or something? Well, then, how about we make the eyes orange? Or eyelash color? Can we do that? No, we can't see that anyway. There, it's black. <clears throat> well, I make up color. Can we actually change this one into this? No, that doesn't. It's really like I don't know where, who who did that. And why this is like glossy and the other one is matte. But well, let's let's have it like this. Also, we are we are not the the top artists. Oh yeah, here in the nails, nail color. Yeah, actually the nails should be should be different now. So let's have, I guess this here. Yeah, this is natural nails. Well, that's actually fitting. Yeah, let's have those. I mean, I would like some other green, but I think they don't have any green. But there was this, uh, oh, this here, oh, it's also so bluish. Oh, let's have this here. Oh, let's have these for a while. I mean, we can change them anyway. So, oh, and well, I guess we have some body scars now.
quite a lot of them now. But there are only two different scars. Well, I guess then we have these. Yeah. Confirm. So there we go. That was nasty though. Facial expression. Let's smile. We want to be... We want to be optimistic. Stop looking. So there we go. So my thinking is actually that... Um, yeah, let's eat something. An XL burrito. Um, one sparkling water. And one slaughterhouse veggie. And where's the burrito? That one. Nechagina, what's that? You can't mispronounce it if your mouth's full of it. Tajine. That's a taco. Spunky monkey. What's that? Cat food. Applies the nourishment status. It will have you purring in no time. Oh my goodness. And we've got cactus juice. Oh yeah, this is the PXL burrito. It's big. Like really big. Well, uh, I think it's fine. We ate one here, the slaughterhouse veggie. It's fine. Although we need some proteins, but let's eat something later. So, and the thing is... The thing is, we wanted to do some crafting, right? And there's nothing else here. No. And I think we should actually... Um always craft and not sell anything anymore because we have 50,000 and I guess that's actually fine so let's wear this here we wanted to put some stuff into our stash so I'm not doing everything again if you want to see how that looks check the other episode the the last episode we are wearing, wearing this one, <clears throat> but uh, underneath we are wearing uh, this here, the tactical one. So there you go. And then we are wearing our weathered combat boots while we disassemble these ugly snow boots and these uh, pretty ugly turquoise things. Um, and we are disassembling nothing here, but we will put some of those uh, into our stash. But we are disassembling that, that office thing. And we're also disassembling this here. And that was the silver one, right? Yeah, this one and this one. And this green one and actually also this one. The crystal jock bomber well i like the form yeah it's kind of cool with these here it's also like it appears to be very fashionable these days um but i don't like the colors at all so the color combination so off you go and the rest we can actually keep or well, let's actually let's Disassemble this one here, the scarf, plastic windbreaker as well. Oh yeah, and the spiked maelstrom short sleeve jacket. <clears throat> I mean, on the other hand, it could be that we need to get into a, a maelstrom situation, but actually I don't think the, the game is so sophisticated to do that. Oh yeah, and we wanted to do this one here. But maybe we put it in storage then, just in case. So here. Then, so we also don't carry around so much here. This nice formal shirt and the the Yurinobu slacks, which we stole. Bandage wrapping. Let's have a look at that. By the way, I overlooked that. I think it's the the complete uh, body outfit. The office skirt, this one here, maybe this one in case we need to dress up or something. 
And oh yeah, by the way, we never took a look at the other Saka cap. How does that look? Ah, uh, with yeah, well, we have our <clears throat> um, we we have our integrated headset anyway. So let's disassemble that. We don't have anything here. That's well, right? Yeah. Okay, into the stash. And yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't wait much, but let's put it into the stash, like it, as well as this one. With the others, I, will, I, I want to uh, change back and forth a little bit. So, ah, yeah, and this one here, the multi led synth delta jog. That was the thing, so here, this one. Disassembled because I don't like the look at all. Um, in comparison to the other stuff. So and then our weapons. We are not disassembling. Oh well, we are actually disassembling this knife now. I think it's fine. This regular knife. Um, we are keeping this here, of course, and we are keeping the punk knife. Although it's possibly it doesn't matter if we want to use the knife, then we should use the Nihan. But this one is actually no it's not better so actually we can disassemble both of them there is no difference here now let's disassemble this one and uh, now this is with okay, why can't i do that uh, here sorry there and then we are actually putting uh, the punk knife into our storage just in case so there, off you go. We wanted to use and try out the other weapons. Um, then, was there anything else to try out this year? The Kenshin is not as good as the other one, and we kind of can't uh, remove uh, the the upgrade in there, which is kind of sad. Can we actually do something? No. Like this. No, no, okay, it doesn't matter. Although the recoil, the recoil is actually more interesting. Like crafting wise. Yeah, this one, that's actually better. And ah, we only have zero of those, okay. Yeah, okay, well, I don't know why we can't get it out of there. Um, but anyway, put this one in. And then we're disassembling this one. The Pulsar. There you go. And uh, this power pistol, the Unity, we're also disassembling, there you go. I know I put some more stuff in our stash, but we'll we'll have the the white uh, unique ones in the stash as well. So there you go, and there you go, and then we are also rather low with the uh, with the weight that we are carrying around. So and we have the weapon there for some reason, not the chaos though. Okay, then we are nearly good to go, except for this ah, yeah, it's tech pistol, but I feel we could also use this one here. It was tech pistol, ah well, this one. the tech pistol so the tech revolver charges also so i feel the the tech revolver is actually better like way better also more interesting so let's disassemble this green one holding disassembling so there you go 
Also, this is power revolver, power pistol, smart, yeah, double barrel, smart, and power light, and the stack revolver. Okay, so there you go. Submachine gun. Yeah, it's fine with this one, I guess. Then we have the assault rifle. And this here is 0 0.6, 25 and 15. Yeah. ADS, mean, by the way, means uh, like how quickly you aim. Like bringing up the weapon to your eyes. Which means that I actually think that this here is better. Like the 5% range don't matter so much, I guess. But 5% aim time might be more significant. So there you go. Okay. So I like the design, by the way. It looks really cool and spacey. So okay then. We are ready to go. Ready to go. Saving the game. And we can check our emails. One message. Rent pass due. Mega building administration. Dear sir, madam, our records show we have not received this month's rent payment for your unit in mega building H, uh, H10. In accordance with the tenancy agreement, any subsequent payment delay will result in forced eviction from the property. Well, aren't they quick? Takemura. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Well, why, why would I do that? Mm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Hmm. And another message. Muammar El Capitan Reis. Listen, cars are like underwear. I mean, you don't gotta change them every day, but it's better for everyone if you do. Got a few new sets up on my net page. Talking wheels, not tighty whiteys. Head on over to Autofix and grab a different model for each day of the week. Well. And by the way, yeah, let's. There's another one. Mega Building HQ uh, administra uh, H10 administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. Well, and by the way, so I wanted to have this one here right now. And this one. Increase slide distance. Allows you to reload weapons while sprinting, sliding and vaulting. That also sounds very, very uh, smart to do. And now it's actually time to get more cool I guess six and then we've got four points the cool oh yeah when crouched the higher your mitigation chance the longer it takes for enemies to detect you then I already looked around a little bit and I think the first one I want to go for is actually this here uh, no this one stamina cost in uh, reduced for dodging and dashing and also it knocks the ability to dash. Dash replaces dodging, allowing us to cover more ground and automatically vault over low obstacles. I think that's a nice defensive thing. And then we go for this one here, 100% mitigation chance when performing a dash. Then no one can shoot us. 100%. That should actually be good. That should be good. The body are here. This one health regeneration increased. I mean, we might want to go for this all the vehicle stuff as well at some point. Here, there, this is there's something new. Um, yeah. yeah, I think we want to be more flexible. Glutton for war. Which is also a good thing, I guess. And I'm not sure if this is a prerequisite for this year. But let's actually have the reflexes first. That sounds rather useful. Allows us to reload weapons while sprinting, sliding and vaulting. 
to there. And then we are increasing the cool to 6. And then we've got a buffer of 4. Which is fine, I guess. So, and by the way, here... The countdown. Bad news from Vic. The biochip is going to gradually kill us by overwriting our mind with another neural network. The result? Our consciousness will get wiped and we'll cease to exist. Seems there's no clue how to stop it or if it's even possible, but we won't just give up without a fight. If Evelyn, Parker, Anders, Helm and Arasaka, we'll have to track down every lead to make it through this alive. Play it again. Johnny Silverhand, the legendary rocker boy who brought the fight to Arasaka 50 years ago and paid the ultimate price. Now he's back as a digitized construct on a biochip jammed in our brain, slowly but surely overwriting our consciousness. If we don't find some way to get rid of him, we are as good as dead. Hard reset, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. What matters now is we are still alive, and when there's life, there's hope. We've got no choice now but to get back in the game and up the stakes. All right. More messages. Bartmos Collective, the best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. Oh well. Good job. Human nature. Patch your vehicle from the parking garage. Yeah. By the way, what jobs do we have? So we do have some. Beat on the bread, the gig, collect your reward from Vakako. Whenever we go see Vakako and walk into that pachinko salon of hers, I get this weird, like, tingling feeling on the back of my neck. I don't know. V, she's all kinds of weird. Anyway, she promised a special reward for this job with Sandra. Doors at all. We have to do is go see her on Jig Jig Street. Where's that, actually? I think, yeah, okay, that was because of the lockdown, right? We couldn't get the money. Okay. Psycho killers. Yeah. Cyber Psychos. That's fine. Yeah, we can do this one here next. Playing for time it with Takamura. Oh, that's even closer. Don't trust that Takamura. Meet with him. Sure, check him out, but keep your eyes open. He's a corporate. Meaning he's looking to use us. Well, Chica. Looks like we got ourselves into a real fix. No chance in hell. We are wriggling ourselves out of this one, but we are still alive. And as Misty says, as long as you're alive, there's hope. Fate's given us a second chance, so use it. Let's use it. Get back on our feet. Do that and consider our best friend's last wish fulfilled. Goro. That's his name, huh? The only bodyguard of Sab Saburo. Arasaka, who truly done fucked up. While obeying orders, he was unable to prevent the death of his master at the hands of Saburo's son, Yorinobu. By the way... Usually he would commit seppuku now, right? If he had, like, really the samurai code inherited. But well, after the relic was stolen, Takemura went after the thieves, eventually leading him to landfill where his hero, Dexter Deshawn, and Safe V, the sole living witness to Yorinobu's crime. In his mission to find the truth, Takemura became Arasaka's most wanted fugitive, pursued by every agent in the Night City. The ex-bodyguard is driven by a desire for vengeance and won't rest until he brings Saburo's murderer to justice, even if it means working with a petty thief like V. Yeah, well, we are sort of a small-time criminal, it's true. It's true. But a rather attractive one, I think. So, Although not like we are not looking... Like, it doesn't transfer so well into the, the, the inventory figure, but whatever. So... And we want to, let's save the game, and we're looking into the net. Auto fixer. Archer. Well, we have 51,000. Chevalon. Quadra. Nothing there. Mitsutani. Makigan. This little one. Makina. That's more pickup. But for 25,000, that looks a bit like ours. Galina, the Colby, that's more the family van or something, but it looks pretty cool. Villefort, and the Columbus Freight, that is inconspicuous. Can we actually choose the color when we're buying a car? I don't, I don't want to buy one though. We have one right now. Let's rather see what happens. So let's go here, and by the way, um, 
crafting wise. So. There's not much more. Well, I mean, we have, we can have more of the, of the quick hacks. I found the quick hacks very, very useful, actually. Um, disable movement. Oh, I didn't use the lure. Should use that more often, actually. Oh, and we only have 28 anyway. Oh, we can't do anything. Okay, oh, then it doesn't matter. The grenade, a better grenade. Yeah. Okay. We have tier one plus. Yeah. This year. I want to get some new cyberware though. So it's time. We get this blood pump. Break it here. Well, it's good that they that they have them. Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help. Don't got no fucking warrant. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up, playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Someone lose their mind again. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. Well, isn't there anything I can do? Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure thing, sure, why, not? why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Okay, well, I like these two. They, they are worried about their colleague. Yeah, saving the game. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Everything all right in there? Take that as a yes. I'm gonna take that as a yes. <sighs> Try again later. Yeah, well, let's give him time. Okay then. Yeah, um, there's there was something. Happy together. Yeah. This mega building. Besides the 2000 apartment, it's identical to these. This Watson Mega Block also features luxury penthouse on its upper floors. Further down, we can find various service points, stores, market stalls, a gym, even a shooting range. To a certain extent, mega buildings are truly self sufficient, self contained ecosystems. Many of their long term residents, especially Netrunners, haven't stepped outside in years. I'm not so sure if they are happy with all the cockroaches down there. But well. So. Hey there, you, you look rather normal. Yeah? What's up in the big world? Yeah, well, everything okay. Hey there. Well, yep, we've, we sweated a lot over here. Big five employees in Night City. What's that? It's that time of the year again. We present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Who offers paid vacation? Who pays for employees' trauma team insurance policies? Who provides discounts for daycare and child bodyguard services? Have a look at our rankings below. First, Arasaka. Coming in again this year in our number one spot, the Japanese Saibatsu Juggernaut. Employees can expect to be fit with the latest in cyberware technology with the loyalty obligation of only 20 years. <laughs> yeah. So, no no termination of contract for 20 years. 
Yeah, so Militech, the American arms giant, provides its employees with up to 50% discounts on all Militech weapons with a deal that good you'd be able to put an MK-31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. Biotechnica, our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica who offers up to six years, six paid vacation days a year. Wow. Kang Tao, China's largest tech and arms manufacturer, treats its employees to a gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50-year loyalty pledge worrying about paying for health coverage. And then fifth, Night Corps. While this hometown product can't compete with the biggest international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Night Corp snuck into our Big Five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. They must apply for all your family-focused folks out there. Oh, well. Much roots here. Can we actually... Can punch, we can't even punch this. And you guys... Thing going on here. So... Well, you know. Well, it, uh, well, let's let's sit there with them. No, I need to use the arrow, the arrow uh, button. So there. <laughs> hey there, buddy. How's it going? Oh, the, your your face doesn't look so good. Something is shining through from behind, buddy. But well, what have you got on sale? Just so we see what it is. Uh huh. Tier two baseball bat. Your blood bruiser. Okay, nothing really interesting, but thanks for letting us look at it, so now we are here, there we go, then goes for the weapon shop. Hey, me, haven't seen oh. you in a good one, two, few weeks, <laughs> figured you'd skip town. No. Had some trouble. Just trouble. Usual stuff. Ah. In need of iron and lead then, I take it? Yeah, show me what you sure. have. Sure. Let me see what you got. An Ajax assault rifle. And this one has something, a handyman built in. <clears throat> well. Craft guillotine. And handgun muzzle. Nothing overly interesting, though. Oh, yeah, well, however, the silencer. That is actually interesting. 1191 eddies. Let's do the math. Do we have the specs for that, by the way? I don't think so, right? But that reduces the. Uh, the damage no we don't can we can't we can't craft that okay well maybe we should actually buy that it's not super expensive let's get that and we can also put it on and off from weapon so here this one it's only minus 15 damage reduction then let's get that this one the grandstand long scope I guess we we will we will make do with the other stuff. I guess it's fine. We could buy these mods though to make the better ones. Like here this recall. I like the reduced recall. That's basically the best mod because it doesn't reduce anything else. It doesn't have a negative. And this one is supercharger. No. Charge speed. What's this? Spine tickler. Chance to cause an EMP blast when shooting an enemy with a fully charged weapon. Now that's interesting. But we don't have any tech weapons anyway. So let's buy this one. Doesn't cost super a super amount anyway. So there. There you go. We could actually combine something. I'm just thinking. Like we can make 
Oh no, we can only make the green ones. Oh, okay. But we could make this one. And then in green, we could uh, deconstruct it, actually. So how about we craft this? Bam. Now we have it in green. Oh, it's only one green. Oh, well. But it's actually still better. A better choice, I guess. To get uh, to get green items, yeah. Long scope. And it's also only one. Yeah, we don't need so many of them. Parallax. However, we can make one of these parallaxes, I guess. Huh? That one. We only have one of those. There. We can make one of these. Is it called Parallax? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, then let's make it. Also, to increase our um, engineering. I think we should do that. Like always. Yeah. Okay. Backpack. So, and what does it do? This one here, that's the Parallax. 19% effective range, minus 25 uh, stam uh, weapon sway. But stamina doesn't regenerate uh, when we are aiming. Yeah. Okay then, so let us... What should we use? By the way, the revolver comes only with the... Uh, 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 with the um, scope. <clears throat> the assault rifle. Yeah. Let's have the pistol one here. There you go. So, alright. Saving the game. Well, and then I guess we are getting our car. Yeah, let's get our car first. Because it's in the garage. Human nature. That's in the garage. Let's get that one first. There we go. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt oh, that's... also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Ryan's political opponent, former District Attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters, and we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, yeah, blah blah. Say what they always the say. Time. Uh, I think that Thank was you, the Lucius. guy we saw via Everything the cameras. Next, we'll assume Ryan's mantle. We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Holt and Perales. Now, a word from our sponsors. Okay, ads. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> yeah, be the dream or the dream. The ultimate experience. Okay, well, I guess we should get going instead of looking at ads, but it's also kind of funny. But there was just one. Okay, well then. Well, so, so there's a new 
a, a new election coming sure. in. Huh? So let's get the car. Well, those were times when Jackie was waiting there for us. Huh? Yeah, that's how we jump around now. Yeah, that's our car, good. Yeah, looks good. Nice thingy. Is this even like it's, it's a turbo or something? Well then, so. Fetch your vehicle from the parking lot. All right, so there, or from the parking garage. Hey, what happens? What the? Yeah, what the hell what? happened? Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Oh, shut up. Gotta find out why Night City's most courteous has upgraded to hit and runs. That was the AI. Probably couldn't stand you anymore either. I said shut up. Okay, well, we are not doing so good. What the? Our beautiful car. And what? What is that? Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding traffic incident number. The Delomain Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange compensation. Unbelievable. At least they want to take responsibility. It's back there. Well, there's a side job there. I think we should meet with Takamura and uh, hear what he has to say. Let's do that first. Well, he's just sitting there and enjoying himself, huh? Unbelievable. Oh, and now then it's gone. And then he's gone. Unbelievable. Personal rolled off the assembly line in 2023. Notorious for its low quality. What? Okay, well, at least it looked good. Okay then, so let's get it off. What was that? Oh, what is that? What do we have here? That is not good. So, well, I guess we don't... We are not calling any vehicles uh, anytime soon. So, I guess we should... Um... Should probably beat up some gangers and steal their vehicle. Yeah, that's 90 meters. There you go. And there. Quick saving. Takamura. You're not very polite to a lady. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. It's just make up. Is this about the this biochip? Is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it will be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why'd you help me? Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. Well, are you aware that the Emperor has been killed by his son? We didn't do it, you know? But what do you want? What's it you actually want from me? To begin. You must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Have you been looking for her? Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. 
You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Well, you are kind of asking a lot of questions, aren't you? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Well, okay. Got a life to save my own, so... Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. P, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Want me to accuse your noble in front of Arasaka XX? So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? Yeah. We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. What kind of people are we talking about? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, uh, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. Anders Hellman. Mean those kinds of people? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Well, could be interesting. Go, Takamura. Could be interesting to see how that goes. Let's well, rather sense. not have trouble. But that, so that was that was the daughter, the emperor's daughter. You shouldn't draw out. We shouldn't draw attention to ourselves. Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. I need time to think this Thanks over. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. The relics engineer knows more than anybody else. Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, He's my man. 
And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Someone poached him? Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. You know more than I thought, actually. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. But why were you looking for Helmut? Why are you looking for Helmut? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She spot the cop on you, huh? But you don't have any experience talking to people like that, huh? Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. Well, also, I'm going to try my luck with Evelyn With a Parker. bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. <clears throat> if she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. I'm not sure if we should do that. Uh-huh. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. We bodies now or what? You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. I don't trust you. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You think you can help me, please? You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. 
Rogue will dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. There is no us. And don't point that armpit into my direction. So, well, the pizza looks pretty good now. Time to eat something. Well, so that was all pretty cool. Automatic love, another job. Goes down to the afterlife. Muama El Capitan Reis. But you're making a name for yourself out there. How about some new digs too, huh? My troom over at Ace States told me there's a few fresh units for rent. They could give your current pad a makeover too. Go check the net page or visit them in person before some gong grabs the best one. Think this one's right up your alley. Yeah, thanks, we'll check it out. That's what I'm talking about, V. You'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, dicks, only the best for my people. Okay. Um, so, well. 5%. Hey, V, I need a favor, Chumba. Want to hold a clearance sale? No junk, pre-merge only. You know me. Problem is hardly no one else does. Business slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by? Browse around. Won't find better deals anyplace else. And if you could put out a good word to your tombs, I'd really appreciate it. Robert Wilson, we were just at his place. So. Judy Alvarez. It's a new contact. Okay. So, well... I think we should actually go, now that we are so close to the Ripper Dog, let's go there. What's that? Tarot card. Um, tarot card. Hey, look. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. Hot Graffiti resembles the Major, major Akana Taroka, the Chariot. Well, oh! Well, he was awfully close. Let's go back home and take a shower then. And what's that M? Ah, it's the Metro. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, but let's actually, let's go to, oh yeah, here. Talk to Misty. Let's go there. It's so close. Yeah, let's do that. To end the episode. There you go. Oh yeah, this is actually the uh, the shortcut. And by the way, there's another one over here. And I tell you, no, the Arasakas are no ordinary clan. They're not even human. Vampires, the lot! Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead! Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead! I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world! He rests undisturbed in the family crypt! 
He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's return. They're working on immortality tech. That wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn! Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets! They gonna find you! Let them! The seed has been sown! The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invader's clutches! Did you work for Arasaka? I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? A 1,500? No, no, here. If one. Humble sounds affordable. Just don't spend it on stupid shit. Thank you. This has bought me a day or two. And this is Misty. Hey there, Misty. Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grabbed a scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. Major Arcanum? What's that? The, uh, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Higher power could be a little clearer. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. What do I do with what I find? Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what Let's I find. Let's be open to this idea. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Okay, thanks, Misty. El Capitan? Again? You've always dreamed of living like a rock star, but still don't know how many strings a guitar has. All is not lost. I have a Porsche, 111 Turbo Cabriolet, the 930, and that means a convertible, that sports a spicy black and yellow paint job. It also features unique decals designed by probably the biggest samurai fan to ever walk this earth. Get it now? Don't think twice. Legendary rocker boy Johnny Silver and definitely wouldn't. Well... I mean, we need a new car now, of course. Horoscope, Storyteller Group. Clients from Group Storyteller. Client, Scorpio, you did it again. You rolled up your sleeves and cleaned the Augean stables. Everyone admires you, but you know that your only reward will be the next task you are given. There are not many like you in Night City, but without you, the city would have long turned into shadows and dust. Avoid flirty AIs that try to impress you with their knowledge of ancient Greek. Your lucky place is the net. Client Capricorn. You are born corpo. You plot, you plan, you calculate and weave webs so tangled you sometimes lose yourself in them. If only you were the one calling the shots, you would already have the city at your feet. Unfortunately, you're caught up in a maze of responsibilities. But whatever you're plotting, make sure you see it through to the end. 
Avoid last-minute changes to plans. Your lucky place at Asaka Tower. Oh my goodness. Horoscopes, yeah. They are all as vague as they get. Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. I'm not reading everything. But like Leo, uh, Leo is actually interesting for me personally. So this city likes to devour players like you, but you know they're kind too well to get caught off guard. You're on the ground, you know that a night city biz only gets done when you put your blood, sweat and tears into it. Not just flimsy dreams, you eat dreamers for breakfast. Genetically modified nuts are to be avoided. Your lucky place, Haywood. Hmm. Where's Haywood? That's Watson. Northside Waterfront and Haywood. That's the Badlands out there. That's the Westbrook. That's Haywood. Oh, yeah. Haywood Well Springs. Well, we maybe we should. Oh, yeah, well. We need to go to the Delamain anyway. There are a lot of side jobs there. Okay, well. Okay, thanks, Misty. And let's talk to the dog. But actually, I wanted to look for this other mural. Or maybe it's up actually up here. Mama Wells. V? V, we need to talk. Please pick up. I was in the middle of something. I'll call you later. Now, oh well, let's call her now. Mama, that's Jackie Wells. Mama Wells. Have like calling her. V. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. I wanted to offer you my condolences. I'm so sorry what happened to him. Call in to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesu Cristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. I will be there too. We can be very uh, decisive here. We are. That's that's the least we can do, actually. See no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. Okay, see you later. Where's the mural? Saving. Well, well, then now that we are at it. Messages, Evelyn Parker. Um, we need to talk, it's important. Evelyn Parker's typing. Unable to deliver message, recipient may be temporarily unavailable. Oh no, that's just great. And... End card customer support, busted city pass. Dear end card passenger, we are pleased to inform you that the technical problem with your end card city pass has been resolved. Full access to all end card service has been restored. As compensation for this inconvenience, we have credited your end card account with a promotional discount, allowing you to travel on any end card line free of charge until the end of the calendar year. We appreciate your understanding and hope to see you riding with end card again soon. Thank you for traveling with us. Okay, that's actually good. That's the Metro this year. Metro Mega Building H10. Well, we might just do that. But firstly, we need to find this mural. Scan the mural. Yeah, that one, I mean. Where is it? Up there.
can actually jump up here just like that. Let's hope we are not flying to our death there. I'm just quick saving. Let's try this. Oh yeah, nice. Um, oh no. Well, that wasn't so good. No, 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 don't fall down. Come on. But actually, I don't think that this is actually correct here. Ah. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that. That's... That's not good. Ah, well... Did we, get, did we get up here? Well, we just opened the door. Can we get into the... Ah, well, there's something here. Can we get up there? I guess so. Ah, crap. Well... There. Well... I mean, this here, this is nice. Can we get in here now? Barely illegal. There you go. I don't think we can get up there though. Not like that at least. Ready yourself, for they are coming. Get on this one. There. Yeah. And on this one. Well, it's pretty high. I think we should not fall down here. Mr. Stud. Good, so there. Their mothership conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for they are coming. So, do we see anything here? The mural is supposed Open to be there, but it's down it here actually. Late. It's a bit weird, so I guess it's all easier than I thought. If you turn a blind eye to there, maybe the in the corner, no. Okay. <laughs> Yes, in that elevator. Let's do that. So, the elevator. I 
And we need to talk to Victor anyway. Let's check what this does. Okay, no more messages. Okay, then. Okay. A very, very dark area. Fortunately, we are a lady with a big gun and or a lot of big guns and knives. Ah, yeah. Ah, there's it. There it is. Nice, nice uh, urban garden, though. See so what's this? Odd graffiti resembles the major arcana taroka of the world. Interesting. So it, yeah, it is the, definitely something that is also digital, kind of. Huh? Interesting and cool. Okay. And a nice place, by the way. Can we sit here now? Uh, 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 uh. Something with green. Nice. And something here. Belzebub's Tales of his, uh, to his grandson. Even before our arrival, many beings in Babylon had lost their minds over the subject, while many others were inching closer to the same fate. The burning question of the day, the question that wrecked the brains of both pitiful scientists and normal beings of Babylon was this. Do we have a soul or not? There were all sorts of the most fantastic theories on the subject, with new ones appearing all the time, and each and every one of the tempting hypotheses had its supporters. Despite the overwhelming number and diversity of these beliefs, they were all based on one of two completely opposing premises. The first was called atheism, while the other was idealism or dualism. All dualistic hypotheses held the soul existed and, of course, that it was immortal and could suffer many things even after the death of the being. Meanwhile, the atheistic theories held the complete opposite view. In short, my boy, when we came to Babylon, we came upon what could only be called constructing the Tower of Babel. Now oh, great. And these guys have been eating here for a while and actually painting roses. Can we sit on the... No, we don't even want to sit there. Well then, I think... Oh, 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 what do I, 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 I sense a data point, oh, but there's none here, okay, is there, or is there, is there or is there, no, there isn't, okay, very sad, okay, no, no data point then, okay. By the way, like walking through the city, I guess it's actually more appropriate to run through like this. I don't want to mess up our super nice uh, jacket there. So, especially if we fall to the ground and then everything is full of blood. That is pretty cool though. Okay then, so. Choose only the best. No other cleaner gets it cleaner. Okay, well, for your cyber eyes. But that's good, so we found the mural. So, guys, and, or rather, guys and gals, we are getting to the end of this episode. Um, next one, I think we are going to talk to Victor. Um, but that's all very interesting and we are going to get well I think I guess we oh we could actually do the side job here yeah next time we are going to go talk with Victor do the side job work over there where we need to go to the afterlife also do the side job there and then we make way over here to the Delamain HQ so we get our car back yeah or a car back. I don't want to spend tens, tens of thousands. Um, just to get the car. Yeah, or a car. Yeah. Alright then. So that ends this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. We made quite some progress. And I guess we could actually say the real game starts right now. 
But that was actually a pretty cool beginning of the whole game, I have to say. Like doing this heist, preparing the heist and stuff, doing some things on the side and then getting this chip and losing our good friend. And now we are, well, not all alone, but uh, things are sad, of course. So that's certainly a thing. I hope you liked it too. If you did, please show it by clicking the like button. And how about you subscribe if you haven't done so yet, so you never ever miss an episode again. And hit the bell icon so you get a notification as well if something new comes up or when something new comes up on playing hardball. Also, there are a lot of pretty cool other additional Let's Plays that you can find, if, especially if you like shooters or RPGs or science fiction and stuff, yeah, or these dystopian settings. Check out the channel if you like. Yeah, and then we are continue next time. And if you have any thoughts to share, tips and tricks, feelings, please do so in the comment section. You're always welcome. See you next time. Bye-bye.